Well, that's a pretty looking Starbucks. It kind of looks like a Waffle House. Mm -hmm. What's up, guys? I'm Blaine Sage. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wrote sage brushes on the board, but this video is going to be more of a uh, not really an art video. Um, today, we're using this heat press to put custom design the Sage Brushes logo on a shirt today. Um, this thing's warmed up and I just need to print the design on a fabric transfer. So uh, we'll get right into it. Okay, so here's the design that I'm going for. Sage Brushes, it's all kinda cool and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. But we're gonna be printing them onto these they're just fabric trans transfers. They can, uh, you can, tells you to iron them on, and I've done that before with them, but uh, recently got this heat press, this t-shirt press here, so I think it's, uh, I've used it before and it's pretty, does pretty good. Um, so this is what the paper looks like. The light transfers have red lines on the back, right there so the way you load it in is you do it with the uh, the red lines facing up you put that in the printer okay so then what you have to do is this is very important for the light transfers you have to flip the image so it's uh well if I can find it let's see all right see you gotta flip it so it's a mirrored image for these light transfers so just hit print and on my computer you have to change a bunch of stuff but here you make sure it's just uh HP iron-on transfer and make sure that it's a mirrored image and then if you're connected to your printer just go ahead and hit print it should start the process all right there it is uh, Pretty cool, pretty cool looking. Kind of hurts your eyes to look at it, but that's all right. That's what I'm going for. So I'll show you the next step of the process. It's using the uh, t-shirt press. Actually, I lied. So the next step is uh, cutting it out. So you have as as much cut it out so uh, the it doesn't have as big of a border to get as close to you as you can to the uh, actual design. I have these very small scissors. I wish I had a, a bigger pair, but I couldn't find them. But yeah, just get as close to the design as possible. It's alright if you leave a little bit of a border, but most of the time on the t-shirt you'll be able to tell. Um, sometimes you won't be able to tell. Okay. So, there's the uh, trim down version. Now, we're going to go ahead and use the heat press. All right, so now that that's done, um, the way you operate this heat press, I'll link everything that I'm using down in the uh, description. But the way you operate this one is a switch on the side, flip it on, it'll start heating up. Should he mine's heating up pretty quick because I had it on, so it's already still pretty hot. I think the cap is 360 degrees. That's what it needs to be to start uh, to work. And uh, yes, we'll wait on it to heat up and we will put this design on a shirt. 
All right, so the t-shirt press is heated up, uh, as you can tell from this beeping. I think I can get it to go away. Yep, so next step is to get the t-shirt on there. I've already done that. Um, I always have trouble getting it centered, so uh, hopefully that's good. But next thing you do, take your transfer. You can kind of see through it. There's these horizontal lines that can help you kind of line it up. Try to place it right in the middle best you can. Place it face down. Hopefully that's good. Alright, so next thing you want to do, you want to have some wax paper on hand. And just lay it across the top. Kind of hold it down. And then comes the fun part. Line up your top of your heat press and you press it down and you can start a countdown for 30 seconds. Alright, so the countdown is done. Let's check. Alright, so it should on through. Alright, so this next step, you gotta be very careful. You gotta peel off the backing. And it's really, really hot, so be very careful in this next step. Make sure you peel it evenly, slowly. There it is. What I like to do, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I like to take my wax paper and hit it a second time for about 15 seconds. So let's do that real quick. All right, then 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and take this off there. I feel like it just locks it in there a little better once you do that. But there we go. Let's take it off the press and see how it looks. All right, here's the finished product. Uh, it says Sage Brushes. Got the logo on there. It's pretty cool. Um, so this shirt's actually for my dad. So I'm going to get him to model it for you all. All right, there it is. What do you think? I love it. Looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little off center, but for the most part, I think it looks like a really cool shirt. I'm wearing it tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So there's the uh, white t-shirt. Hey. So we're going out to Walmart because I was dumb and used all of the dark fabric transfers. And we have to get more. That's a pretty looking Starbucks. It kind of looks like a Waffle House. It kind of does. It's a new one. I wish it would have put in a Waffle House. Oh yeah, that would have been cool. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I didn't film inside Walmart because I'm pretty sure everybody knows what the inside of a Walmart looks like. Uh, but I got more fabric transfers. There's five dark fabric transfers in this pack so what I did I'll show you what I did with the ones that I messed up on uh, it's very unfortunate I went through three of them uh, and this happened I used them completely wrong got stuck to the wax paper and completely unusable because I was doing it wrong. So now that I know how to do it, I'd done it before. I'm just out of practice. Uh, I used to make t-shirts for people at my high school. They would like commission them, just custom order t-shirts. They want a design 
or mm-hmm. tell me what kind of design, give me kind of a ballpark thing. And I would make them a t-shirt and, uh, it was pretty fun. I'd, I'd, uh, sell them in high school. Um, but yeah, I'm just out of practice. So these are the, the dark fabric transfers. They look exactly like the light fabric transfers, but on the back they say dark fabric transfer. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So I'll walk you through how to print onto these right now. Okay, so this is the design I have for the, uh, the darker shirts. And the thing about the, uh, the, fab- the dark fabric transfers is that you don't have to uh, you don't have to have a mirror image uh, for the dark fabric transfers. It has you can print it exactly how you see it here. So here's our paper. You load it the exact same way with the writing facing up. So load that in there and close that. Then we'll go and print. It's the same thing. Uh, make it portrait and plain paper. We're going HP iron on transfer. Print. And it should start printing. All right, it's done printing. Um, came out pretty good, uh, so I'm excited about this one. Also, if you haven't noticed, here's a, a lion statue. It's a uh, my brother's statue. It uh, it kind of dresses up the scene nicely for this new uh, scenery change. Um, we're no longer outside, but we'll go ahead and cut this and. I'll show you all how to use the, uh, put it on the t-shirt with the heat press. Okay, so now that it's cut out, the difference in the uh, fabric transfers on the dark one, you have to separate the backing paper from the transfer before you uh, use the heat press. That is the step that I forgot when I was using the other ones. And that is how I messed it up. It's kind of hard. You just kind of got to fool with it enough. Sometimes you, what you can do is try to tear just the backing paper. And that kind of gets you started. Here we go. So you kind of just want to carefully peel the transfer off of there. And as you can see, we didn't print a mirror image. We did it exactly how it's going to go on the t-shirt. So this is what's going to go on there. And anyway, you try to get pretty close around your design. So. We'll go ahead and fire up the uh, the heat press and get this on a t-shirt. All right, we're all heated up and ready to go. So the process for these transfers is similar, uh, except you lay them like this on the t-shirt. So just kind of do your best to get it in the middle. This is the part that I struggle with the most, as I said before. That looks relatively good. All right, so same thing. You take your wax paper, lay it over top. Make sure you get all the edges down. Don't roll up and get folded. All right. So, oops. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo that. See, I kind of got I moved it a little bit. 
That's okay. I hope this one works because I I've been getting it wrong over and over again. Just want to get it right. Come on. Yeah, the heat kind of makes it start to curl. Curl up. Alright, I think it's all flat. I'm gonna go ahead, press it for 30 seconds. Just like the other one. All right, so just hit 30 seconds. Go ahead and take it off. And all you have to do with these is just peel the wax paper back. Just kind of slow. So you don't want to mess up the transfer. I think so far it's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, looks pretty awesome. Very hot. Be very careful with this step. Make sure you don't burn yourself. There we go. Alright. I think that's pretty good. Let's get a close up of that. You see we got the same kind of glitch effect with the letters. I really, really like that. Looks pretty good. All right, so here's the finished product. Uh, looks pretty good, I think. I got it centered uh, pretty well, I think so too. So that's all I got for this video. Uh, uh, showed you how to do heat transfers with this press with light fabric transfers and dark fabric transfers. Uh, if you like this content, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe and share it with your friends, all that good stuff. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. We'll be rolling out every Thursday, hopefully. Um, being consistent so far, so, so far so good. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for this video. So I'll see you all in the next one.